Welcome to this week's episode of Sportsman's Journal. Tyler and I are standing on the deck overlooking beautiful Cliff Lake and it felt like it was a long winter so I'm really excited because it's warmed up fast. Yes it has to say the least. It's been a really warm spring. It's a scorcher. And we are ready to get out and target pre-spawn smallmouth bass. That's right. Cliff Lake in northwest Ontario is known for having a fabulous smallmouth bass yes. population but we're going to take advantage of probably the best time of year to catch big smallies. Well, right now, because it's today, we're going to take advantage. Time of year, yeah. But early season, shortly after ice out, the month of May, those big females are going to come up shallow. Yeah. They're going to start thinking about doing their thing, spawning, yeah. and they're going to want sunlight. And it's kind of a perfect scenario for us. Those fish are going to put on the feed bags, and it's the best time to catch big, 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 yeah. big smallies. We're super excited, and we grabbed our confidence baits. So Bagley has a, an assortment of wonderful crankbaits, yep. and I'm going to fish with the Sunny Bee today. Yep. I I like the wobble. You like, like the wobble? Yeah, I like how it works. You like so how it works? I think I'm going to outproduce Tyler, I'm hoping. You like uh, the wiggle. Yeah. I'm going with my ultimate confidence bait from Bagley, and that is the flat-sided bee. It is. Love that bait. That bait's caught me more big bass, not only smallies, but also largemouth yeah. bass. Early in the season, cold water situations, mm -hmm. just love it. Got a lot of confidence, like I said. But that flat-sided on both those baits is key to production. We're going to break that down for yes, you here during yeah, the episode. Th those fish are coming from deep wintering holes, up shallow. We're hoping to get them on that first break, kind of that pre-spawn. We don't want them anywhere near their beds yet no, nope. because uh, that's when they're going to be kind of the most aggressive, getting that feed bag yep. down for egg production. And I'm really, I'm excited. Are you I'm excited? Ready to get out. Yeah. Go do some power fish yeah, and catch some big old bronze backs. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody, we'll see you right back on the lake right after word from our partners. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Stryker. To view their full lineup of open water apparel, head to strikerbrands.com. Good looking tree right here. Wow. Sarah and I talk a lot about baits that we use, and we talk a lot about how to use those baits to catch fish, right? Mm -hmm. But one of the big things that we try to communicate to, to you guys, what habitat are the fish using? And on Cliff Lake, there is a lot of shoreline, and smallies in this particular time of the year like to go and start in the mouth of bays. Any point leading into bay, that is where you should start off to fish these early season fish. And the re big reason is because it's really close to their spawning grounds. We want down wood and scattered boulders. And you mix that with the muck bottom, that's perfect for where they want to start laying their eggs, where the males will start making beds. But they get really tight to those trees and those rocks to heat themselves up. It's a process that we call, help me out here, convection. There you go, yeah. they're, they're, transferring the, con heat. They're transfer of heat by fluids. And they'll get really close to those rocks and logs because those warm up, they suck in sunlight. And those fish will get right tight to it, almost touching them. To warm them to warm their body temperature up to get those eggs developed and it's all about points leading into bays so that's where you want to start and you know what that's where we started and that's where we're going to finish today i can guarantee you here we go we got fish yeah yeah smally uh the way it's fighting i would say smally have you seen it yet oh it's not a bad fish do you want the net um, a better one it's a dandy yeah Okay. You can grab that if you want. That's a nice fish. Wow. We're better safe than sorry. Yeah, better safe than sorry. I'm not too proud not oh. to look at that fish. Get in there. Oh, yes. Look at the size of this fish. <laughs> he awesome. tried to swim out on me. Uh, let's take a look at that flat sided bee in there. One of my favorite cold water cranks. Uh, that fish. Do you think they're hungry right now? Look that, at that is a good one. Just scarped it down. I can see it right there we go. The Bagley has some nice yeah, hooks on Those hooks are sharp. I'll take a look at this fish. Wow, right there. Look at that. That is a giant. That's a nice smallie. Cliff Lake smallie. Old pre-spawner coming up here in the shallow, starting to do her thing, looking to do her thing. That is nice. Trying to get some sun on her, get those eggs developed, but that is a gigantic smallmouth bat. Look at the color on that thing. Is that thing beautiful or what? That's a good smallie. Isn't that thing beautiful? <laughs> wow. Holy cow. All right, let's get her right back in there. She's a beast. Well, there's nothing I can do. Sure. One bite. One bite. It's a good fish? Mm, it's down. 
Oh yeah, it's a good smallie. It's a nice one. You want me to net it since I'm down here? Yeah, you might as well. Oh my goodness, that's a, that's a dandy, that's a dandy. Ooh. I'm trying to get my stuff out of the way. There you go. Okay, she is swimming around in the net there. All right, ready for yeah, this? Yeah, I'm excited about oh, this come fish. Here, girl. Come here. Oh, ah, uh, <laughs> she's thick. Look at that thing. That's like what a, you fish early season smallies for. Like right a there. pork chop. That's a dandy oh, fish. It. I'm like in the way. I'm all discombobulated here. Let me get out of the way. <laughs> you were not ready for oh, that, were you? That's a good one. Oh, that's, a, that's what makes it fun. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Nice job, hon. Look, that thing is. Spring smallies. Jeez. I she's love got a, it. She's got some marks on the other yeah. side here. I don't know if that's from scraping up against rock or if something tried to eat her. But that's a good fish. Wow. Oh my goodness! Yeah, oh he my did gosh, it. that's a huge get fish. Get the net, get the net. That was awesome. I would awesome. get the net. <laughs> you like twitched it and you came up and just <laughs> took her down. Annihilated. And that's a dandy, hun. <laughs> yes. That was job. fun. That, that was, was awesome. awesome. Dude, I saw you You like set the hook <laughs> yeah. and you, you just, what, twitched it? He hit it first and then you twitched it and paused it and just, I just I saw, saw a small, flash. It was like a walleye. But yeah, a I saw a flash, so I set the hook. And then we'll see this it thing. was paused in the water, and I just switched it, and he came back came and up just and drilled it. That was that awesome. Was awesome. Yeah, it was and really we cool. saw, I think we saw a couple more in yeah. here too. So we're gonna take a look at this fish, and then we're gonna back out and hit this up again. That is so much fun. Wow, that's I love Cliff Lake because it's like clear, and you can see what's going on. The sun just came out from underneath yep. those clouds, and I got to see the whole thing. And I love sight fishing, so that was a blast. Wow, that's a dandy. That's fun. Yes. And we got more to catch because they're all coming yep. up and they're hungry. Cliff Lake is a very clear lake. 10, 12 foot visibility. Yes, very high visibility. And when you have days where that sun's shining, fish can see you. And especially early season like these bass, what we're experiencing right now with these bass. Just 10 days ago, they were in 35, 40 foot holes. So you gotta stay away from them. They're very spooky as well. So. Boat control, Sarah, like all the time we talk about, crucial, mm -hmm. very important. So keeping your distance away from shore, keeping your distance away from those logs, those rocks that you're targeting where those bass are staging is crucial. And our rods, KCR rods, we use them all the time. You guys know about them. His X11 Pro Bass Series are what we're using today. And a big thing about these rods is that Eric uses micro guides, keeps your line tight to the rod. So every time you fling one of these Bagley baits, they're getting as, about as far as you can get. And uh, so we're using uh, tactical fluorocarbon by P-Line and it's just, it's casting very, very smooth. Uh, it, you can tie really nice durable knots. We're not using braid because the water is clear. So we want something that's strong. We're gonna be able to come over rocks. We're gonna be able to come over logs and uh, not have nicks in our line and, and lose our baits or lose big fish. That's a fish. Is that your one fish? That could be one. Look at that spot that too. That is way out there. Look at that That's though, that small. rock and that wood coming off of there. Isn't that mm -hmm. sweet? I want you to cast right up there and I guarantee he's got buddies. This guy's pulling decent. That's so much fun too when they hit it way out there. And that's the cool thing about cliff. 270 miles of shoreline. So you have, look at the side. This ain't a bad smallie right here, guys. Whoa, no it's not. That is a good fish. There is tons of habitat for this early season bite like we're on right now. Him. That is a dandy fish. Look at that. Beautiful. Come here, buddy. Are you sure you don't want the net? I'm pretty sure. I'm going to get him right here, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much fun. I think I got a little premature. Uh oh. A hook just popped out. Yeah. Come here, buddy. You got to watch those big chunks. That's a dandy fish, guys. That is what we're after right here. Look at that. Look at that fish. Wow. Wow. Dandy. Gonna... I made two casts. I did made not, two casts. I think that no buddies I yet. I think these big females are just up before yeah. anything else comes up. What a fish! Giant. That is a dandy. We'll get it right back in there. Wow, that thing is gorgeous. This segment of Sportsman's Journal is brought to you by Northland Fishing Tackle. Before you head out on the water, check out NorthlandTackle.com.
I really enjoy fishing cliff because it's clear and we can see these smallies coming up and they're chasing these baits and we can see them hitting on the paws and it is just awesome. Yeah. Ice hasn't been off that long and so the sun penetrating is, is warming the lake up fairly quickly right yeah. now. But see those fish are coming shallow, they're gonna start to think about egg production and uh, you know doing their thing but you can tell a lot of these ladies are just starting to come shallow for the first time and some of them are solo and some of them are already grouped up. Um, obviously depending on where we're fishing in the lake, water temp is colder in some areas, 49 degrees and then yeah, uh, we're when, up to 54 right. in when some spots. When we first started it was 40, 49, some places were 48 but we caught fish and now we're sitting at 52. So just that couple of degrees, these fish get a lot more wound up, a lot more active. As you can see, we're throwing crankbait, so these fish are chasing, and we're having a lot of luck. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Way out there. Molly? Yeah, I'm gonna try to kick us out a little bit. Ooh, that's a good Ooh. fish. You want me to get the net? Sure. That looks like a nice one. It looks like a nice one. You know what? Yeah, net, this is a big fish. This is a good one. Look at that, that's awesome. Sweet. Wow. That's yes. a nice fish. <laughs> Congratulations. That is a dandy. That's a good nice one. Nice hit spot lock here. Perfect, yeah. perfect illustration where most of these fish are. All of them are coming into bays basically where these fish are setting up. There's a big bay right behind me here you can see. Comes up and you got this flat boulder area right here six four to six feet we're in 5.9 so that's kind of the zone that they're all in but you've got these scattered boulders on this soft bottom and these fish are all hanging in here wait till you guys see this fish watch out for hooks yes that thing you hear about football that thing is the definition of a football yeah that's a good one that is awesome but putting the pattern together no matter the species is the name of the game this guy's hooked like a million bucks I'm gonna try my best to pop. There we you go. need the pliers? Nope, I got one more. There it is, right there. Look at that, isn't that a dandy? I love it, beautiful, beautiful fish. The markings on these smallies are awesome. Look Did at that. Spotlight just turned off? Spotlight just turned off, or I'll get this fish back in there. See you later, buddy. Is that a smallie? It's a smallie. Nice job, buddy. Ooh. That ain't a bad fish. No, it's a good one. I gotta get out of your way. Oh, wow. He's going. That's a really nice insane. smallie. Holy cow. Look at he that. He's not fish. happy. Wow. He's not happy to be here, folks. No. I was just saying, oh, my, my goodness. bait isn't running straight. Beast mode. On the sunny bee. I tell you what, Sarah, you said your bait's not running right. I don't think it matters. No, it didn't on that they one. They can't resist that. Look at the size of that fish. Geez. Holy cow, guys. Wow. Wait till you see this. We're kind of on the shady wow. side of the boat here, but. Sarah just got a beast. Oh wow. boy. All right, I'm just gonna pop. I don't, that hook is not. This is a big one. Oh. I love it. He was sitting tight to shore too, wasn't he? Uh, he was by that down tree and you yeah. got snug on it and then I kind of cast away from it. Let's see, oh my and then... goodness. Holy cow. <laughs> and then this mama came out. Uh, and wanted some of that wow. sunny bee. It, that's on the sunny bee? Oh, what, what color wow. are you using? That uh, burnt crawdad. Huge. Look at that. Holy cow. That's epic. That's a 20 incher right there. That's, that's a awesome. five pound Canadian smallmouth bass. That fish is old. That's a beauty. But she is full of eggs and that's the genes we want in Cliff. Mm -hmm. That is a gorgeous fish. Yes. Good job, Sarah. Wow. Okay. Treat her with care and get her back in the water. <laughs> it's time to talk tackle. Trampy talk and, tackle. And uh, today's talk is a lot about confidence in a lure and that cold water the flat-sided crank and especially the baggies bagley's flat-sided bee produces fish and yeah. it's all in the action that slashing erratic motion mm -hmm. smallies can't resist it's like a jerk bait but it's in a crank bait body. yeah it's a it's a tight more of a tight wobble right. and that's and i have i'm fishing the sunny bee so mine is a little bit different i'm getting down a little bit deeper a little bit um, deeper my bill's a little bit different yep um i'm not quite as flat-sided as you but i'm definitely not rounded mm -hmm. and um that's creating that that wobble and i think you know between mine is kind of snack size a little snack size you think yeah. uh well that's but the two, the two those are the two things that our baits have in common when you look at crank baits and traditional crank baits the the bulbous body i like mm -hmm. to say yeah. both of these cranks are flat sided. They're, very They're about as flat and narrow as yep. you can get. The, 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 the flat sided bees have a little tag on it that says Tyler only. 
because I love these things so much. And I'm going to wow. go back out there right now, and I'm going to pound I'll another five-pounder. I don't think so. I need my shades right here. Quick, quick. Did I put my scissors away already? Uh, there he is. <clears throat> Came out and popped it. Do you want the net? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm over here. No. No? Bring them around here. I think I got them pinned pretty good. I think I see two trebles in there. You could easily do three or four fish for a half hour if you just let them do their thing. But we don't want to do that. We want to catch as many fish as possible. Yes. He does not want to give up. Look at it. This might be a better view for everybody at home. Eating that flat-sided bee. I love it. The old Bagley flat-sided. Tough to beat early season. Look at that camo on that fish. No, it's nice. Isn't that one. sweet? It's awesome. These right ladies are just coming they in. They are, they're pretty too. See you, buddy. Fifty-two. That's a fish. Doubles. That's a nice. I got a smallie. You got a small oh my gosh, you got a dandy. I got a nice one too. This is awesome. Okay, spot locked. Your fish is Ooh. huge. Holy cow. You have to net that one, honey. Okay. Oh my goodness. My guy's not shabby either. Are okay. you doing okay? Yep. Here, you want me to do it? No, I got it. You got to get that fish. fish in the boat. Mine, we got fish flopping everywhere. Look at this. The net is long or light enough. It's a enough. bagley beat down. Get that. Oh my oh goodness. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> I'm going to get mine. Yes. <laughs> I got mine. I'm going to hand grab mine. Okay. I'm hand Are grab you mine. sure? Here, well, let me swing them in there. This, yeah, oh. there we go. <laughs> I'm like right here. Oh my goodness. Put him in there. Sarah, a bag full of Bagley Smallies. What do you think? Oh my goodness. A bag, hold on a second. A bag the Backman full of Bagley's bag, bronze bags. The Backman bag, oh. bag full of Bagley's that bronze bags. That might be too bags. many bees. Uh, this is awesome. Wow. Holy cow. Okay, Let's I got see mine. that thing. You got yours? Mine popped out, which is good. Oh, geez. Look okay. at the size of your fish. Yeah. Let me take it. I got mine. Mine is not too shabby. <laughs> oh, Sarah, what do you think about? Smallies on Cliff Lake, isn't that oh phenomenal? Oh my goodness. Look at that. That is impressive. I right love there. it. Wow. Two nice bronze. You got me though on size. Dog That's a nice it. one. That's a really nice one. Uh, the Sunny Bee and the Flat Sided Bee from Bagley are smallmouth killers, especially in this cold early season water. Yes. I love it. And it's it's, it's kind of cool flat to see. Flat profile baits, both of them yes. have it. Yes. I was say, it's kind of cool to see the difference. And, um, mine is a little bit smaller and the lip dives down a little bit more. Yeah. So. I'm getting a little bit more depth on it, Look at but that fish. Isn't and that gorgeous? sometimes wow. one outshines the other one in yeah. a spot. But should we get these ladies back? Yeah, we need Phenomenal. to get them dipped. Yeah, let's get these back. Get these wow, girls back. dandy oh, fish! Oh my goodness! The Rumble series from Northland Tackle. The Rumble Shiner. The Rumble Shad. The Rumble Stick. The Rumble Bug. Durability, action, colors, and fishability that trigger the bites. Northland Tackle. We are walleye. We knew the smallies were starting to come shallow. Yes. We did not know that it was big smallie yeah. shallow. Would you say it took us by surprise a little bit about the quality of Good fish? Good surprise. Yeah it's, yeah, it's not every time you go fishing, you get both quality and quantity. And, and I think we did that today. At, I mean, it was, yeah, it was action oriented with big fish. It was, right. yeah, it was quite a day. It was a lot of fun. It and is. And what is the big thing that we, we tell people, we talked about this, is that when you want to come up and you fish smallies, when's the best time? It's that early season mm -hmm. window. And I think we struck gold today. I think we did too, yeah. I mean, you can't ask for a better day when you're catching all those big females. You know, they're pre-spawn, yep. they're coming up, they're starting, you know, starting to stage on that first drop, mm -hmm. getting ready. And uh, the males aren't, a lot of the males weren't even in No, yet. it was so. just the girls kind of had the run of the, you know what I mean? They had yeah. the run of the place and that was awesome. And the Bagley's, flat-sided bead, number one, got to have a couple of them. Yep. I love them. That's, yep. we're talking about confidence. That's my go-to early season yeah, bass bait. Yeah, you love that one. And the Sunny Bee. I like the wow. Sunny Bee. I got a little bit deeper. Um, mine is a little bit more uh, rounded, narrow build to put myself a little bit deeper. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, it was just, it was giving. The smallmouth that didn't right. wasn't shallow like Tyler's. Yep. The ones that were a little bit deeper yep. was giving them two different options. So. It is, and the square bill on the flat balsal B is good for bouncing off cover because yes. that's a shallow bait. Yep. So I'm, bu I'm bumping you had a wood. More luck with I'm that. bumping wood. I'm bumping rocks. We're getting through there, catching mm -hmm. big bronze back. Now, would you say that's the one-two punch when you come out here and target these fish? I would say. Uh, yeah, I mean. The one-two. <laughs> you can't you can't can't go wrong with what we had. Look at the wrong. fish. 
the video never lies. You know what I'm saying? Right. And the season is open all year long. They have a protective season during the spawn where you right. can't keep, you know, anything over 13 and three quarters, I believe is what it is. But yep. But you can still fish for them. You can target those fish. And, um, you know, we've, we've talked about, we've had ice out smallies episodes mm -hmm. before. So before the walleye season is open, if you want to be able to target walleyes, you know, kind of plan it up for yeah. that. Uh, but really, I mean, really a great time. Really an it's awesome. ultimate experience. Awesome experience. And I'm telling you what, now we're sitting here sweating. <laughs> and it's the end of May, which is not normal. Especially mm -hmm. in the afternoon, yeah. we're, we're sitting here sweating buckets. It is hot. Got out of the wind a little bit. And the bugs warm. are coming. The temperature's rising. Mm -hmm. The bass are eating. Everything's on fire. Everything's on fire. <laughs> Everybody, we hope you enjoyed it. Sarah and I had a blast. We'll see you all again next week on the Sportsman's Journal. Hey, for some of the best smallmouth bass fishing Northwest Ontario has to offer, check out cliffflakeresorts.com.